someone's got a missile somewhere. Oh, oh, uh, yep. It does. It's a triple grenade launcher. You guys are right. We do know it is a full sphere. Oh, god dang. Repair. So this guy, big knucklehead, what are you doing? <laughs> um. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and today we are back playing Terratech Worlds and for today's episode I am going to kind of go over some of the questions and comments that you guys have been leaving in the comment section and just wanted to, you know, test some of these things that you guys have suggested and one of them being and one of the more popular comments is about the terrain builder and so you guys have some questions on, you know, how high can we use this? Like, can we build like a giant bridge? Can we build over the little lava pits or the, you know, heat zones inside the, the snow mountain range over there? And, you know, exactly how we can use it. So I figured a good place to go and test that is to go to the main crater base area over here and see, you know, just how high we can build up with the train leveler thing. And then just, and to see if we can actually make, you know, build a wall and then put a hole through it. Like I kind of want to see if we can do that. And then also I want to explore that area anyway, because you guys keep saying I missed a, a new weapon over there, which I, I don't know. It's one of these. So I kind of replaced this cannon up on top with this little dual barrel action coaxial cannon thing. And you guys said that I missed a triple barrel version of this, which I haven't seen. Like I, I don't see it when I go to like the little techopedia thing over here. And if we go to the weapon section, wherever the heck that's at, it, it doesn't show up as an option that I can like buy or, or get or whatever. So I, I don't know, you know, but sometimes things don't show up here until I find them. So that, that happens a lot with the, these things right here. So these EM scanner deals never showed up for me. I never knew they existed. And until I, discovered them inside like by launching this rocket over here so once we launched the rocket then one of the achievements that we got or, or rewards i guess was a little bit of the block bucks or whatever those things are called and then also one of these things and so that's how i ended up getting a lot of this stuff that you guys are wondering you know how i have so much stuff was basically all these missile launches so if you go through your little task object objectives over here and you pay attention to this and make sure you claim all of your rewards and and i probably have some i haven't even reclaimed yeah so here's some right here where you get rewards for just destroying a bunch of techs and a bunch of enemies and i actually need to do that let's go ahead and claim these real quick so i want to claim this one and so we got 225 little bucks there we have 200 here for taking out a bunch of hostiles and another 200 here for taking out more hostiles and then this one this one we need to launch these items up for the resources now this is in the expert level so it gets to be really difficult to get all these materials i think i have all of this now so we're going to go and look before i head up to the mountain range to see about see about doing another missile launch because i think on this one we get yeah 650 i don't see that there's a another you know piece of tech that we get but this is where normally we would see it is under this resource launch and then we also have a certification so claim rewards from the objectives menu so this is 20 points for doing that and then this is 10 points for doing now these are probably early game things i think that they added in the last update that they forgot to give rewards out for and i just i haven't claimed them I haven't even been to here yet so let's go ahead and claim that because that's just for 10 bucks and that's a really easy one to collect a bunch of uh, chlorine stuff although i'm pretty much out of all chlorine on this map i i can't find any more and unless i have another tree oh i do have one more tree i have one tree standing i was kind of leaving that one alone but I think I can get a little bit more chlorine out of that tree because what I've been using it for is building a bunch of fuel. And so you guys can probably guess why I am making so much fuel. <laughs> so yes, I think at some point I'm gonna to try to figure out how to fly. You guys keep saying I can fly. And there was one guy that made a video that one of you guys made a, sent me a link to that he like made like just a rocket that he navigated over on the other side of the map or to a, an island or something. And so I, I want to, you know, try that, but I need a bunch of fuel. Like he had like two or 3000 
you know, units of fuel. And I think I am just getting up to about 2000, but I need to be able to test it too. So it uses, it goes by really fast. So let's go over here before we get going. And what do I need real quick for this other launch? So we need tantalum and purified phosphorus and purified niobium. Man, this stuff right here is a pain. That is probably the next to phosphorus. That's the other hardest resource to get on this map. But let's see. So which one was it? It was phosphorus and tantalum and strontium or niobium somewhere. Don't I have some of that? Oh, that, there we go. Wow. Okay. So I just barely have enough, right? Is that what we needed? Here, here's our launcher right here. 30 and then I need 11 or, oh, I already, I guess I already had some in there. So what do we, oh, I already put some in a while ago. Okay. So I don't need as much as I thought. So let's go ahead and put the, oh, I guess I already have it filled up with 30 of those. Well, that's crazy. I didn't realize I'd already done that. So let's add that. And then let's add that one. And let's see. I guess I don't need to add any of this. So, all right, cool. I didn't realize I had already added some of that stuff to it. I think I did it in the last episode, but I don't I don't think I added that and left it in the video. So, let's see here. So let's launch this sucker off real quick. See you later. And there it goes. So that will give us another reward, and then we'll see what the next next reward objective is. Let's see, go here, and we can claim the 650. So now we're at 2400. We're gonna be able to buy all the stuff now. Let's see, what is this one? That's 700. Oh my gosh, that's more. Strontium, I have lots of. Tungsten, I think I have a good amount of that. And purified titanium, oh lord. I don't think I have that. So I don't have any purified titanium. And weirdly, when that giant crater has no titanium resources over there. I was really hoping like once we cleared out all those bots over there, those little tech bots, I thought I thought we would get a lot of titanium resources. So maybe maybe it's the weapon because there is really nothing over there. But we're gonna go over and check it out again and just see if we missed anything so i want to see if i have enough ammo so yeah this is i'm only going over with the heavy ammo i'm not using any rockets probably a bad idea but you know let's just let's just try it out you know what i could do i can bring some rockets like here let's try this let's let's bring a few good lord i keep i need to just stop hitting that key all right and let's go grab a rocket a missile launcher and we'll take one with us in case things get a little wonky we'll go ahead and just put one in. i don't want all of them so we'll just put we'll just keep two on hand how about that so maybe we'll get some more shields i love these little corner shields these are kind of like my favorite shields now so that's what that's the only place that I, I think I found those shields. So we're gonna go back over there and get some more. And then I need to test my heater. So let's make sure my heater thing is on the right key. I know you guys I should just overheat my my thing, but when I overheat it, he doesn't auto repair and he, it, the, the my little guy he gets super slow and then his reactor's all messed up everything's messed up and you know I'm, I'm sure i can make it like a lightweight version and do just fine with that uh and i've you know i have a, a few variations of that but right now i'm just going to go over in this guy you know he's kind of tanky and just experiment and see what all we can do let's oh let's Get this guys out of here. I'm gonna clear out a path, and we brought the whole group over here. I replaced my top turrets from that giant railgun thing to to the other ones here. So, man, is it clearing? Oh, I must have it hooked up to my my terrain builder because it's it's laying down terrain every time I shoot. So I'm gonna have to fix that. 
was wondering why why is there like little mounds appearing? It's like how am I clearing the snow? All right, let's go over here. Get these guys out of the way. And you move over there. There we go. There's just still this one guy shooting right there. Okay, so let's go here and check our gun. I do have him on the thing, so we'll just disable those guys. You know what? I want to keep this guy enabled because that's good for getting rid of those plant things. Yeah. Is that working? I, I don't know if that's working, actually. Why am I still freezing? I have... Oh, I forgot to put the other heater. God dang. I had another heater that I meant to put on. One second. All right, guys, so got my second heater on and now we can cruise over to this area and scoop up a bunch of scraps. Get these guys out of the way. Oh, someone's got a missile somewhere. Oh, oh, uh, yep, I guess somebody's got a missile. God dang it. That's gonna be challenging. Must be this guy. Just gonna run you over. Oh my gosh. Missing some wheels. Alright, guys, so took care of those dudes real quick and went ahead and repaired my my guy and at my tech station. Just so I have not any, not so I've not have used any repair things because it was annoying. All right, get these guys out of here, and then we're gonna head to our place. Okay, we're kind of getting up here. It's a little sketchy. Oh my gosh, I have blown a lot of my pieces off. Okay, where are we? I think we can go up this way. There we go. All right. I think we're, we're good now. So we're going to go down into the pit area here. Whoa, 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 whoa. There we go. I'm going to have to be careful. I don't think there's any more bouncy plants. I pretty much destroyed all those. Oh, there's one right there. Oh, we got to get out of here before we start exploding. Let our shields cool down for a second. So yeah, once my shields cool down, I'm gonna head into our base over here. I should be, I have a uh, tech uh, base over here, so I should be able to recover. I think I do, maybe I don't, but I thought I put one over there. And yeah, I think I do actually. And once I get inside there, then we'll kind of like recoup for a second and see what we can do to find that third gun and test out the terrain builder stuff. Yeah, I think I, I think I'm okay to go in here. Maybe there it goes. But don't flip over, man, dude. It's like this guy's always flipping over. All right, let's go ahead and repair. There we go. And then I should have a repair station over here that we can go into. Yes, I do. All right, cool. back into this and hit repair. So now we got all of our restores back. And yeah, all right, cool. So we're gonna head, go ahead and add some of these parts to our little tech base. Um, looking for some new stuff. A lot of rockets, that there. Got a lot more. Probably gonna have to expand this base out a little bit. We're gonna use it. And let's see, did I get any ammo from those guys? Wow, we're going through some ammo pretty quick. So I'll probably, I'm probably gonna use up all this ammo just in this fighting all these guys down here if they are gonna respawn. So, cause I think you guys said that there was this place over here where there was a weapon and I drove past it. And I didn't see it. It's, there's items still over here though. I don't see any other, oh, there are some tech bots over there. So we'll go ahead and 
Is that it right there? That's not it, no. Oh, that's a thing. Oh my gosh, I almost hit that. Okay. I guess there are still a few of those things left. So maybe that's it over there. There is a guy right there. So let me let me do this real quick. I'm, I'm gonna go up here. I'm gonna check my stats before I go down inside there and just make sure we're good to go. Um Oh, get out of that rock. What the heck? I'm not stuck on. The ground is so dark, it's hard to see. Guys, I kind of want to experiment with the other tool, the terrain builder tool in this lava area. So let's go here and I have it on me right there, right? So we just need to adjust and put, put it on a, a key. So let's do space key. I mean, not space. Or what is that? Shift? Or control? Well, that's shift. There we go. Alright, so shift. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, and you can kind of see that there's a little circle there. Now, I just happened to catch the... I guess it was like the release video that they made, you know, for this game. And they have all kinds of stuff shown in that video that I have not discovered in this game. So I'm not sure if it's gonna if it's out yet or if it's gonna come out so it just replaces the ground with dirt right here so we can kind of see what it's doing right there so now I I, 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 I can't speak if uh, <laughs> I have figured out that like if whatever you put this your cursor on and whatever angle that is on is what the terrain thing will mimic so if I put it like right there see it kind of it's sideways now see so it's kind of whatever you you're starting off terrain is so if your terrain is flat then it will it will start off flat if it's if it's not then then it will be whatever angle it started off as so like for here we could start with this and then see if we can extend this outwards which looks like we kind of can so i don't know it's doing something it's like it's sliding down yeah it's like literally sliding sliding down so i'm not sure if we have to make a hill with it oh that was weird that's like a vertical wall it was doing oh there's a rock right there too so that might be part of the issue so let me, let me come over here. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. And then let's put it on this wall, maybe. Maybe this one. Oh, there we go. So that's kind of a flat wall. You can go up with it. And then we can go up right there. So we're building kind of a wall with it. But see, look at it. It's collapsing. So maybe there's not, maybe there's like a height restriction based on like its own weight or something it seems like it's made out of like a sand or something it's literally it's quite literally like falling back down but it's it's doing it at an angle see i didn't really it's piling up over here so if we start here here go out right here no nope. can't maybe I need to be a little closer yeah like this so it's kind of weird I, I don't know I don't know what it's doing. I think they're probably still has some work to do on this. Here we go. So let's see. So we can do some things with it. I mean, I think it's, it's doing something. <laughs> I don't know what though. It's kind of strange because see it's collapsing a little bit and then kind of smoothing out. So that's weird. So it's acting more like a sand rather than like a hard terrain. Yeah, see it all slid down. Let's see if we can... Yeah, I don't know. It's odd. And I, I wish there was a way to control the angle. But I don't think I can hit a key. No, that just moves me. So, and I can't adjust it with any of the keys. G, C, no. So, all right, well, maybe we'll, let's go to a different spot and try it. This is kind of a weird spot. Um, let me pop back here, double check. Okay, so let's go over here, down in this area, and see if we can build a train down there. And then let's go ahead and collect 
all the parts and pieces that we left behind and see if we can take out a few of these little tech bots down here. Now I need to be careful because this area is weird because when a blizzard rolls in or like when the cold storm or whatever you want to call it, it will end up making us freeze to death. So I have a the little frost generator over there. I don't know if it actually protects us from the cold weather. So we're going to just figure all that out. We may actually end up dying if one of those comes in. But let's take care of this dude. Let's see if we can get a hit off of him real quick. And take care of that guy. Let's get rid of this little pop-up plant. There's another one right there. And you know, hopefully these guys are not missile dudes. Oh my gosh, totally blew him away. And there's one. That plant out of here. Let's take care of that guy. Yeah, I also stepped away and took a couple of photos of the big old eclipse, the apocalyptic eclipse that just happened. So, if you guys happen to see that, it's, it's pretty cool. I happen to be in the actual path, like my house is in the direct path of what they call totality. Totality. So, that means that we get to see the full clips here so I went through some photos and I'll, I'll pop some up on the screen here in a bit here in a second or right now or whenever I decide to do it <laughs> I don't know but anyway that was pretty cool so yeah let's see if we can find I don't see any new weapons that looks like a new was that a new piece we just got oh no it's one of those all right I'm still looking for this try gun you guys keep saying I missed I don't see it anywhere I'm just grabbing everything. There's a part way up there. I don't think I'm going to go. And let's go over here. So do those little, normally the little rover bots come back and respawn. But I haven't noticed that they're doing that over here. There was a lot more over here originally. For that thing. And I don't see that they're coming back at all. My little... Uh, tech rover thing definitely is a little slower in this black stuff. So what I'm going to see right here is there's a little lava pit thing right there. So I'm going to, I don't know if it's lava, but we're going to, we're going to try to make a bridge over it if possible. Let's see. It's a dude right there. Got any weapons on you? I'm looking for this special weapon. Everybody says I'm missing. It looks like, what was that? Is that is is it that piece that I keep thinking is a weapon? I don't know. It's, it's weird. We're filling up pretty quick over here. I do have. I think I did put a recycler thing over here. So we'll see. We can use that. I'm just looking. Not sure, I'm seeing any extra. Oh, I didn't see that rock. And make sure I don't run into any plants. Like there's a plant right there. Man, just totally snuck up on that guy. See you later. So I don't know. We'll see if we can find anything over here. I'm kind of surprised that the little peck bots are not respawning though. I mean, it looks like a, a few of them did. Nowhere near the amount that was here. gosh. Oh, he landed on one of those. We'll just get rid of that. And then he's, oh, never mind. Okay. What is that? Is that one? I think that's what you guys are talking about. Oh, it does. It's a triple grenade launcher. You guys are right. Look at that. That's a new weapon. How did I miss that? What am I stuck at? Get off that. Oh my gosh. Wrong, wrong way. Thing bounces in the craziest ways. Any, any over here? Nothing over here. Grab all that pieces. I'm glad I have like a million storage on this crazy tank thing. That's why I brought the tank instead because it has a, uh, a lot of storage and batteries and all kinds of stuff. So it's good for whatever. I don't think we're going to be able to collect that. 
Or, yeah, what is this exactly? Oh, it's a platform. Just put it right there. It's oh, weird. I already have one there. I must have done that last time. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah, I put my, I moved my frost generator right there to see if it will work. So it makes a dome. I have power going to it now. And I'll turn it on for you if I can do it from down here. Can I do it from down here? Oh, there we go. So yeah, there's our dome. Dome of safety. And, you know, I don't know if it's going to help with the snow blizzard thing, but we will find out. This stuff. Oh, there's a, a bot dude just respawned over there. Crazy. Okay, so let's look at this thing. Where is it at? And it said it was a grenade launcher. Oh, wow. It does look just like one of these other things. So let's see. Can I move some stuff around here? Or maybe, maybe drop some things. I don't really need this thing. Let's take this off. And let's put this on in its place. Oh, okay. So, is that different than the other thing? Or is this a new thing? Because it doesn't show right here that it's new. Like, normally new stuff will show right there. So, this is the normal grenade launcher. That's the coaxial. And this is... I don't even see it in here. It's not even here. What in the world? That is... That is definitely... A different weapon and I wonder if it shoots grenades or is it just guns oh it does do the grenades I don't have any grenades though shoot all right well I guess we'll have to figure that out maybe I can find some grenades or or make some over here oh there's a rover man let's see if we can get him from over here actually let's take this off and then we'll put our little gun back on there and then see if we can shoot this dude from way over here oh man I shot right over his head oh it's blowing up right before it gets to him I'm not even worried we'll just go in here I don't think there's any pop-up plants in here was that another one did I just get another one I got another something what was that I saw another weapon oh it is I just got two more grenade, or another grenade launcher, so now I have two. All right, we're just gonna run around and collect all the goodies in here. There's something there. I don't know if that's a normal weapon or not. Yep, that is a normal laser, I think. But I don't really need these chassis. So grab see what else is over here. What is that? What? What is that? Is that something different? Is that a wheel? Wait, what am I looking for? Oh, yeah, that's armor. Armored wheel. Where did I see? I just saw it said tech cargo thing, but okay, I thought that was it. Maybe is that it? I swear I saw something that said tech cargo. And then there's a grenade, normal grenade launcher. Let me just get all this stuff here. Okay. And then let's go over here and take out this dude. Nobody is. Now he's got two of those guns on him. Shot right under, under him. Okay. Oh my gosh, I almost got him. Okay, so let's go ahead. I don't see more of the new weapons. That's, oh, god dang. Those rocks are so dark. It's so hard to see them. Okay, so let's see if we can build a path over to here. Okay. And let's 
let's get over here. I'm gonna start at this high point and build up. Oh, what, what? Oh, oh my gosh, there's, we got a storm coming in. Holy cow. Run, let's hope this thing works. If it doesn't work, we're gonna end up like probably getting destroyed. Oh my gosh, it works. Holy cow. Okay, so the dome thing actually protects us. That's crazy. So, oh, 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 get back in there. Oh my gosh, that's a serious super cold storm. Wow, we almost lost our horn. Man. But do I have any fuel to... I don't... Did I use up all my fuel to be able to get back? Uh-oh, that's going to be tricky. Maybe I, maybe I put it... I have some silos up in the thing. Maybe I put it up there. So, all right. I guess we're going to have to wait out the storm here. I don't have anything I can test until the storm is gone. So I certainly can't go out. So we are, we do have our full, full heal. Now this dome thing, um, so it is, first of all, we did discover it is a full sphere. So that is nice. Cause I, I thought originally it was just a, Oh, you get, you even get close to the edge. You'll start, look at that. Oh my gosh. So, all right. So you, you have to be right in the middle of it. So basically, I hope we don't run out of power. It's going to suck. Basically, one of the questions I had was, is this, was it just a half dome or a full dome? So we do know it is a full sphere around our, our base. And it runs, it uses 100 units of electricity. So it's actually a little bit more than everything else that we have hooked up to it. But luckily, that's the only thing that I have turned on at the moment. And I should have enough power to run this for a little bit but yeah so it does so two things is it's a, a sphere and it does actually protect us from the cold and doesn't make us overheat while we're in a hot zone because we are in a hot zone also i guess and i mean i, I guess is it is it a hot zone i mean i i don't know it's kind of weird it, i think it's only hot when we're running our heat generators so apparently I don't have any fuel and I, I wish I could make a path to go up right here but I can't or maybe no I can't really get up there so we're gonna have to wait out the storm all right guys <laughs> looks like the storm has passed now so let's turn this thing off all right Turn the dome of safety off, and so we are good. So yeah, I guess, I mean, I guess this area is only hot if we have the generator on, and, and then we overheat, you know, that way, but I don't know, kind of weird. So let's see if we can find a spot. We're gonna, I'm gonna see if I can flatten this little area out right here, and then we're gonna build it up, because this looks like it's the highest part, and then we'll see if we can build across to the other side over there see how that goes so I'm not really sure where we start off I don't want to start like right here that's just like it's fairly flat here we go and let's see if we can do this it's kind of working it is starting to collapse in the front maybe we just need to make it wider I'm not sure when we go out further like this maybe we make it wide hmm maybe if I build down there it starts like that is it going no it looks like it's going like kind of down actually let's start like right here yeah we're going a little on the down side There might be a maximum thickness to this. You know, it might need like a base material material to build on top of that needs to be, and it can only go so high, otherwise it collapses like it's kind of doing. Let's see, here we go. Let's get that. But you see how I'm like placing the cursor like on the surface that I want to, it's basically copying the surface, I guess. So we are kind of making it up there though it just seems like it's a slow process so yeah it seems like it's copying like the angle of whatever I put it on originally and then it just sticks with that as long as I hold the key down so let's go like here 
Yeah, it lost it. it. Loses if you go off the thing, it kind of loses it. Yeah, there it goes. So let's see. This may take a while. So after a long, long time of playing around with this little terrain builder, I have made a bridge across this crazy little little pit area. It took a lot of work. <laughs> It was not an easy thing, especially when we got into the middle to try to keep it smooth. And I had to take it down and then build it up a little bit and then smooth it out, you know, even more. So it's kind of, you know, a finicky little build system, but it does have a lot of promise to it. You know, like I can see, I mean, as far as like building this way, it's definitely like one of the smoothest systems I've seen like this. You know, considering the, I guess, particles to this are just so, like, realistic sand-like, you know? I mean, it literally, as you pile it up, it starts to break away because it's like, you know, simulating that there's too much weight on that sand, and so it's just, you know, breaking down and sliding down the rest. So you have to kind of make, like, a little hill, and then almost as if you're you know like engineering something you have to do it in layers so i had to add a layer fill in all this whole side over here just so that oh no hang on um storm's coming in so so yeah i had to fill in that whole side over here just to and kind of do it in layers just to build up on top of it let's get over here and get to our dome of protection real quick much better nice and toasty all right storm has passed so let's go back and check out the bridge and we can go over it now check it out and yeah i mean it's not the prettiest bridge no safety rails but you know it's there and we got it pretty high i mean this is i think about the max height that you can get and like i said i had to do it in kind of layers so i had to you know kind of build up and do little layers like this you know so I don't know if you can see that because it's so dark in this area, but you can kind of see like I'm starting here and I'm kind of building up layers like this. So it takes it takes a bit to, to get used to and to try to figure out, but it doesn't always, like I'm trying to hone in on this piece here. Here we go. So we can kind of build it up like that. And so you need a bit of like a, you know, bevel to to this whole thing to kind of create a, a foundation for it. Oh, I have parts stuck on the inside. That's good. Yeah, so that's kind of, you know, how it works. And then I guess, you know, we can kind of go up it, maybe. Probably in a better vehicle, I could make it up here. This guy is struggling a little bit because, oh, heavy. Um, but yeah, you know, I, I ended up filling on this side. I was trying to get it to go a little bit more straight across the, the crater, but because it was building up towards this way a little more and easier, it kind of ended up taking a, a bit of a curve. So yeah, that's kind of, you know, I guess how, that's, how that goes. And, you know, you guys let me know what you think of this. And, you know, curious to see what the devs do with this. You know, how, how far they can take this building system. You know, it looks like in the promo video before this game, you know, came out to early access, it seems like they really have some big plans for the build system and, you know, a lot of interesting concepts that are not in this thing yet. So, pretty excited and curious to see how all of that works out. I just built a rock underneath me, basically. And then, like, if you overbuild this thing, you know, so, like, when we turn around, and I just built like a peak up here. So you can use the other laser thing, little mining cannon to take it down and sculpt it back down and smooth it out a little bit. So you see how I'm taking that and doing a little smoothing action. And so now the one thing about the little laser though is it leaves it a little on the bumpy side and it can be hard to travel across so once you once you get it all sculpted back down then i recommend taking it down a little further than you need to just slightly below the level and and some of these takes a little a little bit to actually get going 
uh, and then and then come back, find a surface that's decent, start from there, and then go back and re-smooth it back out like that, and then that way it will it'll be flat and not so bumpy anymore. Otherwise, for whatever reason, the wheels get caught up on the little divots that this mining laser makes, and so it makes for kind of a weird ride across it when you when you want to go across. If that makes sense. So, yeah, there you go. And now I just made a big old long ramp right there. Oh, I guess we're going down. So yeah, that's that's kind of how that goes. I just figured I want to show you guys more about this terrain thing and kind of explore some of its capabilities. And I might be able to build, let's knock this down a little bit. Maybe we can build it up a little higher here. Go this way. Maybe if I just drive on it. And we're actually going up higher. It does have a limit on the height, and I'm at the limit. You can see it's, it's starting to break down now, and it's just going to crumble underneath me and leave me stuck on the, the tip. So, uh, we have to figure out how to get off now. There we go. And we can... Oh my gosh. It gets real wonky. So... So yeah, so you can kind of build it up like that, and then you can go back and sculpt it down a little bit, like this, with this little guy, and, you know, get a bit of a road going to make it a little easier and smooth it out, but it is still a little challenging to get that to work good. I think because the planet's so round that you know, whatever the, system, the build system is, it's on like this grid, but the grid doesn't follow the curvature of the planet. So when, as you're building straight, it starts building, it's, you know, building up because the planet is so small and round, I guess. That's what it seems like it's doing. But yeah, so here you go. We're kind of building a nice little pad here, smoothing it out. I guess maybe if you just you know, go back and forth really fast with this mining laser. It, you can get a smooth path with it. Yep. I guess like that. So I guess you just have to get really, like, you know, precise with it. It is a, you know, maybe, maybe pulse it. It seems to be helping a lot. So, I don't know. That's pretty crazy. But, yeah, we built our first dirt, you know, terrain bridge here. <laughs> and... Seems like it's it's working okay. So I wouldn't recommend it in the sense that it takes forever to do. And it's a kind of a pain in the butt. But yep, there it is. And that is a bridge. So I don't know, you guys do with that what you want. For this guy real quick. Got any cool guns? Oh my gosh. Go on, he's gonna go check out my bridge. Uh, nope, just the same. Same little crazy gun there. Smash. All right. So let's head back up to our base up here and check one other thing. All right, we're back at the crater base here and I did add some silos and things over here. So we have some parts that uh, we can use to build up over here and some emergency things. I thought I had some extra shields that I came across, but I don't see them anywhere. What did I do with them? Oh, they might be in my tech little tech bench thing over here. So maybe I put them over here. Yeah, there they are. So we have two of those, but none of the other new shields. So I can actually probably, I can probably make those. If we go to our little thing here, and let's see do we have any other achievements let's check that real quick oh we do oh wait no we don't that's the next achievement i guess so that's destroy enemy tax and that's destroy more enemy tax x and let's see where is where's the wicked thing there we go the blockopedia so if we go to weapons is it weapons i'm looking for oh no shields oh wait let's look in here do we see that triple cannon still doesn't show up in here. Weird. That is weird. Where are the shields at? 
Well, there's that one. Oh, no. I'm trying to go to the Wikipedia thing. Not there. All right. So where are the, there's the shield generator. There's that one, right? Yeah. Shield projector, I guess. I keep saying generator. Oh, there it is. Okay. So there's the shield projector and the sh flat shield and then the offset angled shield. Wait a second. That looks different. Offset angled shield. I don't think I have that one or this one. Let's buy these real quick. And then let's buy that one. That one looks cool. And then I kind of like this one too. We'll buy that one. I already, do I already have that one? 700. Holy cow. Why is that one so expensive? Let's go ahead and get it. And how much is that one? 725. All right. So we can build these later at the base. So that one is weird. So it's, it's offset shield projector. And this one is angled. So this is what I have on now, which I think are these right here. Yeah. All right. Cool. Okay. So let's make it back to the base somehow. Let me make sure. Let me see if I can find my, my fuel. There it is. All right. We're heading back to the snow base. Leaving crater base and going to snow base. All right, we're back at snow base and I have brought everybody along with me. So now it's gonna be carnage land here. Let's get that guy out there. And these guys following me over here. This guy right there. And my shield's about to run out, so we need to get back over here. Didn't actually make it to my base to set my location to spawn back there because I was getting too hot with my shield. So now we can come over here and make sure that if we die, we respawn here. That's nice. Otherwise, we're going to get in my base. And you guys will be able to get on to me for not cleaning everything up. But enjoy watching you guys freak out about all the stuff around my base. Oh, geez. Uh, world. Oh, my gosh. Uh, re rebuild. Um, let's see. There we go. Get that thing. Yep. And we're going to have to swap in our little grenade launcher here in a second. I was hoping to try to sneak over here, but. And then we could have used the grenade launcher on all these guys. The triple grenade launcher. I have two of them now. Okay, let's get rid of this guy. And I'm just gonna run over you. Yep, we'll just crush you all. And then same with you. Just back up over you. That ought to be nice. And then how about you? Send you that way, and then I'm gonna crush into you. And then we'll just stop off here for a second for a little repair. Sounds like somebody's still over here. Got this guy. Just chomping on you. Still picking up tons of parts. Crazy. This is why my place is like such a carnage zone. First of all, there's like 10 guys that spawn all the time around here. And, and then I can't pick up. I mean, unless I had five storage containers on me, it's so difficult to pick everything up. And then on top of that, half the stuff falls through under my base. I can't get it unless I take my base apart. So it's kind of bananas. So I just kind of leave it out and then I'll scrap it as I run around and and and, and get some you know materials out of it. I can't reach that guy. So, so I do scrap like nonstop. This little thing is running all the time right here. That's why it's like right here in front, the little fragmenter. Wait, where is it at? Right here, this guy, the scrapper. And so I always have him running, but I, I don't do it when I'm on camera because it's so freaking loud and you guys don't like it. So if I put all these parts in here like that, which is usually what I do, I just scrap everything because I have so much of everything. Make sure I'm not putting in my triple grenade launcher. And then, then when I turn that sucker on, it makes such a great noise. I don't know why it's not making any noise now, though. 
Why is it not making any noise now? Is it, is this thing full? No. Weird, okay. Well, I don't know why it's not making any noise. Oh, that's why. There it goes. It, it won't scrap materials. So, yeah. So that's such a great sound of, that you guys love. So I try not to do that. And let's go ahead and turn it off. Did I turn it off? Yeah, okay. And let's go ahead and replace our weapons on top. And let's just throw all of this. I'm going to put this in my tech base. And then maybe once it's in the tech... Or not tech base, but the tech yard or whatever. Once it, Maybe once I put it in there, it will actually show up now. So let's see if that's true or not. Because it does not show up anywhere in the weapons list. But I've noticed that with a few things. Alright, so I think that is everything out of my inventory. And let's look back in the tech yard under weapons. So there is the double cannon. And there is a the triple cannon. All right, so I guess maybe we have to stick it in there first in order for it to show up. And Well, actually, it wasn't the tech yard. It was this thing. So it didn't show up here, which is the, the, the Blockopedia. So you wouldn't have ever known, but it still doesn't show up here. So how, how strange. That's what I meant to say was the Wikipedia thing. Wikipedia. So let's go back in here. And let's just grab... What is it? This thing. Actually, leave that there. Grab that. Put that right here. And then we need to stick this one, put it there. That one, put it there. There we go. And I think you know what I'm going to do. Let's go ahead and take these guys off. So we can kind of see what damage it does on its own. So we'll take those meteor cannon things off. And let's see if we can put in some ammo. There are some, there's some grenade. We'll put in a 300 on the grenade ammo. And let's go ahead and put our shields up and get out of here. We're going to go and attack. So let's see. All right, so which key is this on? Which button? We're on that button. Let's put it on the primary. All right. And let's see what happens with these things. We'll just play with these directly. There's the neck key. Just in case I see, I'm sure there's still a few pop-up plants over here. So there's still some bad dudes over here. And so we had to aim this one up, kind of follow that little path. Dang, it's a lot of destruction. It's hard to aim it though. All right. Whoa. The kickback on these is not as bad as the meteor cannon, but it is still pretty crazy. Oh, god dang. Repair. Right on. See? I knew there was still some of those things left. Where is that at? So I can get rid of those guys. Where is it? I don't see it anywhere. Alright, let's get that guy out of here. Okay, where did that thing go? The little pop-up plant. I'm going to hit it again, I'm sure. I don't see it anywhere. Okay. Oh, I don't have to actually turn my vehicle for these. So I can actually fire behind me. It takes a while to get there. Let's see. So they kind of bounce right there. Oh, wow. All right. Where did that plant go? We need to get rid of that plant. I don't see it anywhere. Got my horn. Maybe that was it right there because there was like one of those little things, but I don't see it anywhere. You guys probably see it. It's usually how this works. That's odd. Okay. Well, I don't know what where that crazy thing went. I thought it was after I passed this little group of rocks. 
I guess not. Weird. Okay, there's another rover over here. Let's go see what damage we can do to him. Unless maybe it's up here. And let's see, let's aim that right like that. Nope, nope, didn't quite get there. There we go. And it does have a pretty good kickback on it. All right, so there are two. Oh, uh, hey there. He is just flying down. There we go. Took care of him. Okay, well, I guess maybe that plant self destructed or something. I don't know where the heck it went. I'm sure I'll find it if it's still here. I'm always like. There's one of them. I'll make sure to hit it. All right, we're gonna go over here. I'll just stop by and turn my little recycler on because I don't have any room, any, even in my tech storage thing to use. Here's the other little road that I made. These are this was pretty easy to make right here, but it but we had a base material to work off of, so it wasn't like trying to build over something. So this guy, big knucklehead, what are you doing? <laughs> um, let's see if we can hit that guy. So is this firing three? It just looks like two. Isn't it supposed to fire three? Oh, smack. Dang. You put it right in front of them. That does a lot of damage. Like that. Holy cow. So isn't this supposed to be firing three at a time? Does it show where my weapons count is? Oh man, dude showed me his underbelly. Get my own base. What? Stop that. Maybe I hold it down? No, that doesn't seem to do anything. Super slow on the fire rate. That guy is, no, okay, I thought that was somebody. I thought that was the other dude. That one guy never fails. This one dude. That guy right there. Smack you and your little laser eye. All right. And then we'll just run over your cab. What else? Who else is hanging around here? I feel like I hear somebody. Other, or that's just my loud bass running. Okay, so... Let's see, am I healing up? Yeah, okay. How many? That just looks like two. So maybe that's the deal with this thing. Like, let's look at it a little closer. Oh, I can't look at the front. Wish I could hold and look at the front. But it just looks like, see, 191, 199. So it's just two. So if we're at 199, if we were to fire three, that would put it at 193, right? Yeah, 193, and we're, oh, wait a second. It went to 187. What? That didn't make any sense either. So, okay, we're at 14, let's see. What, where is it using, oh. I don't know where it's using ammo at from. I have this in another area. Oh, that's missile ammo. We're looking at this one. All right, so what? I'm looking at the wrong ammo. God dang. All right, so 83. 81. So from 81. So maybe that said 189, not one. Yeah, not 193. Okay, so, so we're at 81, and then... If it's only firing two, that number should be 79. Yeah, that's it. It's 79, and so it had we have 179. And then if we fire again, if it was to go down, it would be 173. If it was firing six, because it's supposed to be three apiece, right? Am I? Do I have the right ones? Yeah, it looks like it. 
God, I can't tell. Yeah, it's the tr triple grenade launcher is not tripling. Do we have to do something special with it or something? So now that's just two. Man, two is pretty dang powerful. I can't imagine what three would be. Unless it's just triple damage or something. I don't, I don't understand. Let's pop it off and look at the stats on it. Requires one grenade ammo, but it's the triple grenade launcher. And because it's not in our blockopedia that I can find, it should be in the weapons section like this one. This is a dual barrel, which let's, let's wait. This is not, this is a coaxial cannon, but this is a, here's the grenade launcher. That is the same thing, but I don't see the triple over here. It's not on, there's no other page to this. So we have the double coaxial cannon. Just a single grenade launcher. It requires one. It's 360. And that's it. I mean, this is... The area of effect is, is 360 degrees. Um, it says it requires one grenade ammo. So I wonder if it's just its power is times three or something. So let's look at the damage. The damage is like right where the beginning of the, the M starts on the word damage. And then if we look over here on Blockopedia, we look at the damage of this one. Well, we can't really see it. I have to actually go pull one out of the inventory, but it looks like it actually does more damage, if, if I'm to be honest here. So let's go back to our base real quick and just look at this for one second. Man, these guys are spawning back a lot. What? Who the? What's firing at me? What? What are you doing in my base? Gosh, just get out. Let me just there. I'll fix it. <laughs> All right. Okay, so let's do this. Let, what am I doing? Oh, yeah. Okay. So come over here and turn that thing off for you guys, so you don't have to listen to it. And then let's take in our tech yard. I should have a grenade launcher. Yep. All right. There is a grenade launcher. And. My grenade, wait a second, my tech yard is, ah, it's full. Great. So, why is that exploding? Why is it exploding? Like, did I hear it load or something? Why is it, is, is it, why is it, is it, why is it exploding? Like, right there. Man, these guys. Oh, I see what's going on. This one isn't firing. No, this one, that one. Here we go. But why was it exploding before it even... Yeah, it's still just... They're both firing one. just destroyed you guys and you came back this is why there's so much carnage around my place in case you guys are wondering this is why look at that guy doing a wheelie yep just come right here we'll take care of that for you and then you are in here so we'll just take care of you right there um and we got you coming back over here there we go how far did these bounce right there it's hard to aim these guys we really probably should put them up on a higher thing so I'm not sure yeah I think if they're on a higher deal they would be easier to fire like let's take let's take this for example yeah let's just do this and we're just going to lay that right there. And then we'll just stick that there. Put this over like... And then maybe take this one. We'll just lay it right there. And then put this way up there. Alright. And this is kind of silly. But it's just really to test an idea. And... So... Yeah, it definitely makes it easier to aim. 
See, look at that. I, now I can actually aim on these things. We'll go on our little makeshift bridge. Let's see, that should be a direct hit. Yep. Uh -oh. He's coming here. Super slow on the fire rate. The meteor cannon fires a lot faster. Damn. Okay. So. And it doesn't make like a little thing on the ground, you know? It would be nice if it made a little little marker on the ground so you knew where on the ground it was going to lay. I mean, we have the little, little sights, you know, you know, projecting itself of showing the arc that it's going to take. But... Man, I had to put them up all silly like this to be able to see it. So I don't know. Maybe, I mean, if I expand out, I don't think that's going to make much difference. You know? Because in combat, we kind of need to be near our vehicle. Otherwise, if I'm spanning out way out here, I'm going to want to look at the whole map field and still be able to shoot. But now my, my weapons are just pointing straight down, basically, when I do this. You know? But when I'm up and close like that, I want to be able to, almost like a first person, shoot, you know, like this. So with my, with my guns mounted on top of my vehicle, it makes it hard, you know? So if we take this guy here, catch, oh, I caught that in midair. Did you guys see that? So same thing with this. Caught that in midair too. All right, so let's put this over where I normally have it. And then, yeah, so now it's, it's hard because if I want to shoot, like that's my distance technically. If I want to shoot way out there, I'm looking at my butt again, you know? And I do that enough with the tractor beam. So, but if I expand out like this and everybody's surrounding me, I kind of want to be able to shoot them like out here, you know? But again, I have to like, still, it just auto sticks me up the butt. So, <laughs> that's a, that's a heck of a sentence. Yeah. So, I don't know. I guess maybe hopefully you guys, I don't know, you guys let me know what you think about that, if that makes sense or not. And, you know, if the devs see this, then yeah, because see, it auto sends me down. And, and it's cool, like a angle as far as just driving around. But when I want to fire and attack people, it'd be nice if I could be, you know, back with a little bit more vision and still be able to shoot way over there. And other, otherwise, you know, I don't know. It's it, it's just this particular weapon is really the more difficult weapon to fire like this. So I don't know. I think we found a bug. You know, maybe there's a couple of bugs. One being that this triple grenade launcher is not technically maybe in the game and just accidentally found a couple of them. I don't know. So because uh, none of you guys said that you actually have seen one. <laughs> just said that I missed it, which you were right. I did miss it. I don't know how you guys saw that. I even went back and watched the video, but I couldn't actually tell. Even with my recorded video, I'm all like blowing it up. I'm like, is that really a triple grenade launcher? So I don't know. So yeah, now if we could just get to actually fire three grenades, I think it would be pretty serious. And I don't think there's some other special thing. It should just be the fire button that I that I press for this. I don't think there's a special deal, so I don't know. But anyway, all right, well, I'm gonna end this episode here. Just wanted to experiment with some of the ideas that you guys have been putting in the comments section. I wanted to test a few things, and you guys, you know, were right about the triple cannon thing, and so we did find it and test it out, and then also we kind of discovered a few things with the uh, terrain builder to figure out you know if we can actually build a bridge or not so we can kind of build a mound of dirt to go over things uh, but it is uh, it takes a it's very difficult and it takes a while and it's a little clunky so i like how the system is very fluid for doing that but i think the mechanics of it need to be explored a bit so you know, and a lot of you guys have been asking for a review on the game and everything. And I do plan on like making like kind of a, a somewhat of a review video on this game, you know, specifically because I have, you know, really dove deep into it. So I just wanted to do that like after I've really found and figured out everything and really played the game the way that it's supposed to be played and use all the gadgets. But it seems like we're still finding things. So I don't know. I want to do a few more missile launches over here. So I need to find these resources and I have to go mine some titanium now. But I, I want to do, you know, just see it, how far we can go with the launches. And it seems like we can keep getting the 
points over here for the their cert, cert, not certificates but the what do you call it the block bucks for just doing normal fighting so like maybe every 30 you know this says 65 kills so i can almost do that around my base just sitting around here for an hour but this one yes he already did this one just by my base you know so we can claim that reward and then this is the next one so hostile te techs have been detected on the planet where so this is just a standard one just keeps giving you 275 i guess so once we get up to 65 we'll have that and then i don't know if we'll get more you know of these like you know it, it seems maybe those are the last two but I, I definitely want to do these rocket launches so we'll do that and then then we'll probably have finished most of the things in the game and I'll start like maybe focus on some specific builds and I really want to explore the hauler you know to actually make a vehicle that functions well with hauling resources because I did find that you can put like three or four of the flatbeds on your truck so maybe if I can make you know more like a train then we can make maybe make a more usable resource hauler for m minerals and materials and stuff like that so I don't know and one of you guys said there's still also not a technical build limit for this as far as like the size of your vehicle but there most definitely is you cannot stick anything i cannot mount anything bigger than this vehicle right here i can go out a little bit you know but it it, it won't let me and there's nothing in the way like you know one of you guys are saying there's stuff in the way so if i spin him around put stuff in the front there is nothing technically in a way of this guy see and if I rotate this over like like this, I can mount it there. But other than that, I don't think I can go too much. Yeah, see, I can't go out any further than that. And I can basically build a frame that's you know too wide. And I'm on the Wolverine frame, so if we do it too wide, it will actually put. I can put four frames together. However, I can't put any wheels or anything like that on it unless it's inside that frame. But other than anything longer than this vehicle, it just, I can't, this is it. So I think this is the max size. And I tried, I tried to make a longer vehicle. I wanted to make something like a big diesel, you know, like 18 wheeler and put, you know, 10 wheels on it or something like that. And maybe that will be something we can do later in the game. Cause that would be really awesome just to build like a super, you know, even though if it's slow, like a super resource gatherer vehicle that can have like, you know, 10, 10 storage containers on it like large storage containers and we can go collect all this stuff <laughs> and be like a super resource hog so i don't know but anyway with that i appreciate you guys watching the videos and leaving your comments of course and all of your feedback is greatly welcomed and i appreciate you guys and watching the videos and telling me your thoughts and everything whether you like what i'm doing or not like it either way it helps i'm kind of a new youtuber dude so this is not like my full-time gig or anything, but it is fun and I like playing games and I like uh, doing the videos. So definitely appreciate it. And with that, I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure you like and subscribe, hit the bell notification, and I will see you guys later. Thanks.